Keeping up with AI tools these days is a challenge. I'm on a bunch of wait lists, including a tool that I've been using for a while since summer of 2022, GitHub Copilot. You've seen me use it, you've seen me do a bunch of videos on it. An amazing tool for programmers every day. It's become part of my workflow. GitHub is owned by Microsoft. OpenAI is funded by Microsoft. And now OpenAI's GPT-4 is flowing into GitHub Copilot. Up till now, Copilot has been powered by the codex model. I've been doing some tests with GPT-4 in code and it's doing a really good job. GitHub Copilot X is what they're calling it and it's gonna have GPT-4 built right inside. And is it gonna be better? Oh yeah, it's gonna be better. Check this out. Not only are you gonna have your Copilot functionality like you've had before, but you're gonna have a little chatting window <laughs> and you can do all sorts of things with it. Like, I don't know, do a selection and say, write a set of unit tests for these functions. So before you'd have to make a comment in your code, or start writing a function, basically selecting and telling it what you wanted to do with that. Yes, that is the kind of power that is gonna extend this tremendously. <laughs> I can't wait to try this out. Right now I'm on the wait list. Yeah, you can get on the wait list too. I'll leave a link down below. But if you click on that link, open it in a new tab or new window so that uh, YouTube doesn't punish me for having you leave my video. Thanks. What else can we do here? Well, context-aware conversations in Copilot. Uh, well, this is part of their overall Copilot X offering. What is Copilot X? What does the X stand for? X is like a, a placeholder for all the different products that GitHub has planned. Check this out. I'm going to leave this page for a second. We're going to go to github.com slash features slash preview. Head on over to this page because you're not going to want to miss this. There's a bunch of wait lists here and you're going to want to get on them now. First First of all, there's Copilot. Then there's Copilot for Docs. This, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is looking really cool. Okay, so here's an example of that. You can see the video right there. Uh, somebody asking for help with React. The, you'll get yelled at at Stack Overflow for doing stuff like this. Here, it's going to drill down. It's going to give you options to learn as an intermediate developer, as uh, a advanced developer, and you can tailor your documentation and your question based on uh, a little tweaks that you do to the search. I'm an intermediate developer or I know this material well, I want balanced response or more accurate response, things like that. You'll be able to tweak that. It's incredible. Here, here's a better close-up of it. There's a slider that allows you to select how well you know the stuff, just the answer, lots of detail. This is gonna revolutionize documentation. What else is there? Well, there's Copilot Chat. This is uh, actually a separate tool. I believe Copilot X is gonna have it as part of it. Not sure 100% yet, but that's what I think. So that X, Copilot X stands for the different tools that they're gonna have. Pull request is another one. This thing will be like a bot that's gonna accept or reject your pull requests. I'm gonna sign in and I accept, sign up. Let's go ahead and install that. 50, it looks like I'm in. If you wanna see a video on that, let me know in the comments down below. This this is it right here. Pull requests that tell a story. GitHub Copilot keeps track of your work, suggests descriptions, and helps reviewers reason about your changes with a code walkthrough. AI generated PR descriptions so you don't have to sit there and type them out. Amazing. And then you can have Copilot or AI built into your terminal. All you got to do is type in in the, in the terminal what you want to do. So here's an example of using FFmpeg for that. Use FFmpeg to add a watermark to input.mp4. I've just done a couple of videos on FFmpeg and I complained about how it's a menace to use unless you've been working with it for many years. It's a really powerful tool with an insane amount of options and documentation. But here you'll just be able to ask Copilot CLI on the command line how to do the command. It'll print it out. You can just copy and paste and run it. Wow. I can't wait for this. This is supposed to work not only in VS Code now, but it'll work in JetBrains, it'll work in Visual Studio, it'll work in NeoVim. Yes, yes, there's still a price to pay for Copilot use. I think it's 10 bucks a month. But if you are in an organization and it's a, an open source organization, then you'll get it for free. I actually made a video about that, how to do that. Um, I'll link to that video down below. It's one of the few tools that I don't pay for that I constantly use and I would pay for it, but don't don't tell anybody. Anybody, okay? I would pay for this. They include a video you can watch on GitHub's channel. Explain this regex. So not only it's going to explain regex that you can find in your existing code, but obviously it'll be able to generate new regex. 
I made a video about this recently too. In the video I made about it, it was using ChatGPT to do a regexes, to design regexes for you. But here you can do it right inside your editor. Debugging code. Holy cow. Okay, you select a piece of code and you ask it to debug that code. <laughs> Okay, that's really cool because debugging is something we do all the time. Now, it's a little bit of a different concept than what I think of when I think of debugging. When I think of debugging, it's stepping through code, trying to observe variables and watch, put watches on different variables and seeing what functions return. Here, you'll just select a piece of code and the AI will tell you what could potentially go wrong, which is like a, a more proactive way of debugging. I would call it pre-debugging. All right, generating tests, something I'm guilty of not doing enough of, and I bet you are too. Admit it. Just, just go ahead. Confess your sins down below in the comments. Let me know if you are actually doing tests or if you're not doing tests, you bad, bad boy. You'll be able to write unit tests for this function just by asking Copilot to do it. I can't wait. Absolve me of my sins. All right, what is this now? How does variable visibility work in Python? You're getting documentation and AI help right inside of a chat window, right inside your editor without having to go outside. That's nice. Use your favorite editor, integrate it into every part of your workflow. We talked about docs. This is super cool. And it talks about the pull requests, the automated pull requests, really impressive stuff. I'm just blown away by what's coming and what's possible with Copilot. I, I could probably go without ChatGPT. I could probably go without all the image generation stuff for a while. But this one, Copilot, I would say is one of those tools where I'm so, entre it's so entrenched in my workflow. I, I probably could not go without it anymore. It's like trying to type code without an editor or without code completion. Going back to the stone ages. Man, what a difference a year can make. Go on, go on, sign up. Sign up for these wait lists. Go do it. Before it's too late, it's not going to be too late. You, you're going to be able to do it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. It's free and consider joining. There's all these awesome people that have joined and they're supporting the channel. Thank you so much. Have a good one, folks.